Hello everyone, this is Micah. And I'm Micaiah. And today we're going to be doing our first vlog video on our wedding and that, and that topic. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're doing um, a video about our wedding photos. Um, since this quarantine has been happening, we haven't been able to go back home to Limber right before our wedding. We moved to Atlanta, um, so we're quarantined right now in Atlanta. So this video is really just to let us um, show our family and friends all of our wedding photos. It's really hard to show 300 plus photos over like FaceTime or any of those video streaming things. So this just gives us time to do some commentary on our wedding photos, give some like behind the scenes things like what happened on the day and how we planned for it and just enjoy and engage with our family and friends. So. Yeah, we can go get straight into it um, with some of our, uh, some of the details that were shot. So all these photos were from Shannon Drummond, mm -hmm. um, was our photographer. Um, so she did a really good job. All right, this first one is your, you got multiple dresses. Yeah, so I had which, two dresses. Which dress is this? So this is my reception dress. Um, and for anyone that wasn't at our wedding, we actually flipped our wedding. So we did like a different type of concept in the sense that we did our reception first. And then we did our ceremony. The main reason being for that is because we had a New Year's Eve wedding. So we got married at 12, 31, 19. Um, so we wanted to walk down and say I do exactly at midnight. So that's why we had our reception yeah. first. Then we had our ceremony. And then we had like a little after party afterward. So this is my reception dress. I fell in love with it. I love it. She's great. So the dress you wore beforehand, before you got mm -hmm. married to the... And you reception. didn't know I had two dresses, did you? No. Were you shocked when you saw the other dress? Uh, I mean, yeah. I, if you didn't tell me it was a different dress, I'd probably been like, I thought that was what you were wearing earlier, but... It's two different dress. Anyway, that's the next photo. If you didn't tell me, I would have just assumed that either I was tripping or something. Yeah, you really would have been tripping. It's two different types of dresses. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, so dress. this is just my dress and shoes. And most of these detail photos um, were taken in the room where the... Um, bridesmaid stayed so we actually stayed like above our reception space they had lofts so we got lost, like six beds kit full of kitchen yeah. two different bathrooms for us so it was great and these were where our photos were taken before the actual reception started yeah. oh the, go well ahead. also i mean if you see the uh wedding like the actual wedding video uh the short there's actually some footage that we took there you see a little bit oh more. you mean me and you yeah yeah, yeah. you yeah. can see more of the room um i think that's really everything else though but actually some of these other photos you'll see other parts of the, the room, the room. Yeah. Pretty nice. and but. this is the bouquet those are my shoes my wedding shoes that hurt my feet but these this is the bouquet my mom actually made this i mean she did a really really good job yeah. um did you get a picture of the of the chucks or you were just oh no i don't think we took a picture of the chucks you know, i was gonna say that yeah about your your chucks and how it's just another photo of the shoes. Yep, those shoes were... Oh, oh my gosh, they hurt my feet so much. You're talking about, like, I had to take the sh these shoes off? Oh, no, I was going to say the chucks. Um, because, and we didn't explain the, our shirts. So, these are um, our bride and groom shirts that we wore for our pictures. I don't think any of these pictures... These are our engagement photos. None of our engagement photos are in this slide. You talking about um, we wore these shirts for engagement photos? Yeah, oh, yeah. For our engagement photos with the, the chucks. So that's yep. how I kind of remember it. Oh, yeah. Cause, yeah. And this is just another picture of the bouquet. Did we wear this on the day of? No, we. we I actually wore mine uh, when I got my makeup done that morning. But no, we didn't. I didn't. I actually, yeah, I did. I wore did this. You wear yeah, when we went to the grooms, when we went to. Lunch? Yeah. Muscle, Muscle burger, burger, burger. burger. I had brought in this white shawl off of. Um, and there's another picture of it behind the purse. I had brought the white shawl off of, um, where did I buy it? Amazon. And I tried to steam it and a hole slipped through it. But it looked like one of those holes where you could like slide the end of it in. So it kind of like, yeah, so it kind of, <laughs> so it kind of like goes in it. And it's, but it just didn't work out. And then we, I, that purse I had found at, I first said auto at the shoe store, so. I love it, um, and I wore it for all of the pre-wedding engagement stuff as well as the wedding day. Uh, yeah, just some more accessories from the wedding day. I love these earrings. They're doing jewelry, but it was really cute with my outfit. 
Yeah, this is my garter. I actually have two garters, one um, that Micah threw and then the other one that um, we have as a keepsake. And you'll see who caught the garter later on in the photos. Oops, just another picture of the garter. Yeah, this was a picture of the invitations that we sent out for my bridal shower. Um, it was really fun. We actually had it across the street of our venue at um, the hotel, which was our hotel we used for our hotel block. The um, the photos and for our engagement photos we actually took at Beckley Park, mm -hmm. which is the second location we went on our first date where we first met. And as you can see again, we're wearing the shirts mm -hmm. here. Um, yep, these are our rings. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's my wedding ring at the top, engagement ring, and then Micah's ring at the bottom with the shawl that I burned a hole in. You can kind of see the hole, I think, a little bit to the left. These are our rings again. Micah did a really good job of picking out uh, our ring. Good. Yeah, I um, uh, went to Shenko with uh, Micaiah's mom multiple times um, to look at some rings. And this is what we ended up, or I ended up picking out. And then your mom said, thought it was a good idea. She also thought it looked good and Micaiah would like it. So I was a good job. happy with everything. Yeah, because we didn't even talk about um, rings before you proposed. I mean, we talked about her getting engaged and things like that, but we hadn't ever went, like, ring shopping or anything, so you did a good job. Yeah, my ring's kind of just, you know. I like it, though. Well, yeah, but, I mean, I didn't really need a whole lot of bling, and who puts diamonds on guys' rings? I don't know. Some guys, a lot of people, because think about, like, jewelry, like, when people wear chains and stuff, they have diamonds on it, so why not have a diamond on your and you don't have your ring on right now. The silver goes good I with have mine on. the silver goes good with everything, and it's got the black with the trim <laughs> that goes with everything. But no ring, <laughs> and now there's a ring, just like that, like magic. Detail pictures, like of the same thing. I feel like. Yeah, because you never know what I don't know. You might maybe want a like a magazine thing. or something. What? I don't know. What do you mean? Oh, what do you mean you want a certain thing? You never know what they want. So maybe she, you want a photo with the bouquet in the back, but maybe you don't. So she just took a bunch of pictures and whichever ones you like, you use. And then the other ones are just there. But what do you think? What will we use these pictures for then? Like, because I understand the I couple's know. pictures and the friends and family. But I feel like she personally took these pictures just in case, like, she wanted to use it in, like, a magazine spread to show, up, like, her photography creativity or whatever. Oh. Um. I guess. But another thing like, what would you use this ring for? Or, I mean, this picture for? That would be a cute picture, like, if you, in your foyer, though. Foyer? Is it foyer? Foyer. Foyer? Um, but, yeah, who, I mean, no one's, we both wear rings, usually, but during the coronavirus thing, I mean, we're not really going anywhere. A lot of things we normally wear, we don't wear, like, sh regular shoes. Oh, yeah, earrings. Jeans. Regular shoes? Of, <laughs> regular I saw, shoes? I saw a meme on. You would, uh, like, shoes inside of the house? No, like I saw, uh, or maybe a meme or someone on uh, Instagram or something that was saying that um, my shoes probably miss me. They think I disappeared or something because I haven't worn sneakers in a while. Well, so we don't even wear shoes in our house. I wore the same ones to go out, like we went to go to grocery shopping, but that's pretty much all the travel I ever do. Yeah, like all these pictures of like, like I feel like I could be high fashion. All the details of my ring. Yeah, we can skip these Victoria's Secret bombshell pictures. What are those? What, the Victoria's Secret? Did you, like, use that? Or? Yeah, I use that as um, perfume for my... So those those are the magnets that we sent out. and the, what One was the same the date. Yeah, one was the same yeah. the date. And then the other one was the bridal shower invitation. We actually... So fun fact, we actually did not send out um, formal invitations for the actual wedding. So all we sent out was like the save the dates, mm -hmm. mainly because we had a QR code on our save the dates that took to our wedding website and our wedding website had all the information. Plus we really wanted to just save paper. Um, and a lot of the people coming to our wedding were like close family, friends, where we could just message them if they had an RSVP or looked at the wedding website. What's that on the left? Who, where, how many of those? Who, is that just like, what do you an, mean on the an left? example? The thing at the bottom. Like, who would have gotten that? No one? Oh, just like just the example. people coming to the bridal shower. Oh. Yeah, that was my bridal, bridal shower, shower invitation. Thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I've ever seen it. And well, I mean, I've seen it, but I don't remember. 
Yeah, Etanessi made it. She based it off of our yeah. um, Save the Date, which we had made. And then that's our so scrapbook? So the, the middle one is used? not your scrapbook. So the middle one is actually oh. my scrapbook that my bridesmaids had made for me, which is so special. All of them took like a page. It's kind of like a shot book idea. So if you were ever, you know, turning 21 or knew someone that you was turning 21, you did, you got like a page in their shot book. So it's the same concept. So they did a page in my um, bride, book. bride book, and it was just filled with photos, kind messages, sweet things. So it was it was super cute. Like all my bridesmaids did one, my mom did one, um, and I think my aunt Vanessa did one as well. So it was just super super good. And this is my second dress. This was my dream wedding dress. So this was the one that was more formal. Um, this is the one I walked down the aisle with and we had um, the ceremony with. So I was just, yeah. it was beautiful. It was gorgeous, breathtaking. A lot of people, um, I was super happy that I did my first, my ceremony or my re reception dress first because I felt like a lot of people were like, why is she wearing white? So then I like shocked people and I was actually wearing white. Before the other thing, see like I. I oh, and this also remember Micah said in this video that he didn't even, if I didn't mention it to him, he didn't even realize I was wearing two different dresses, but they were very different dresses. This is white. Yes, and the other pure one white. was white. Or is it The other cream? one's not white. Cream? Champagne? It's like champagne rose gold. It had applique on it then, everywhere. Then it had the design thing. Yeah, there was designs everywhere throughout it. Yeah, and it was a different texture. This was more like, um, this is more A-line and it has an empire waist. The other one was more, um, I know I'm, I I get that, but like if you were if you were talking to me wearing a blue shirt, then you came back you wore a red shirt. I'd be like that's a different color shirt, but like they're kind of similar. No, they're not. And if not. you didn't tell me you were changing shirts, like that's not someone thing someone just knows to pay attention to. Like I'm done. That's, oh, you that's, do this all the time. That's guys you for you. That's that's a that's a guy for you. I'm just saying. Yeah, it's just another picture of the dress. It was beautiful. I just loved it so much. It has a huge train. Okay, so this is some of our signage. We have this sign, and we also had another sign that was for our bar. So, it, again, it was just our welcome sign. Had all the people that were in our bridal party in here. Oh, I love this mirror. So, we did our seating chart on this mirror. It was just beautiful. Everyone's name was on it that was invited to the wedding. Then we had, like, 26 tables, um, and we did, like, 10 people, 8 to 10 people at a table. And now this mirror is in our bedroom, and we use it like normal. This is not our mirror. It's not? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, we're you were such a guy. <laughs> First of all, our mirror in our bedroom is edgeless. So you just see the mirror part. There's, It's not outlined in gold or anything. So yes. for him to think this is our mirror Where is, is this one mirror? thing. This mirror is with the lady. Remember, we gave her our mirror, but our mirror wasn't big enough to fit 26 tables because we added more people to our guest list. So we ended Wait. up we ended up renting a mirror from her, and she did it on that mirror. So this is the mirror that we rented from her. Yeah. So this is not our mirror. Oh. <laughs> so these are two of our sheet cakes. We had um, a three tier like formal wedding cake as well, uh, but we had over like two hundred and twenty five people attend our wedding, so we needed more cake than just the three tier cake. Just some of the details. So this is our head table that we set at. And my bouquet um, that my mom had made actually goes in that middle cylinder. Um, and then just the seating arrangements was really pretty. I was sitting on the right and Mikhail was sitting on the left. Yeah. Kind of like we are in the video right now. Yeah. Again, this is our three-tier cake. Um, there's a funny story that's going to come up when we talk about cutting the cake. But we'll talk about that later with the photos. And that's our uh, engagement moment. Mm -hmm. That's when he proposed to me. He's on one knee. Yeah, and we had this. We got this off of Etsy. Um, it's made with wood. It was really pretty to put at the top with the flowers and everything. Flowers, flower petals. And this is our the other sign that we were talking about. This is our bar menu. Our signature drink was called a cranberry kiss, so which is vodka cranberry and ginger ale. Yeah, I was like, where was this photo taken? Because it was just on that wall, so that's why it kind of looks like that. I was like, is this like a stock photo? Oh, that's our logo. So our logo that we had um, our DJ come up with for our monogram. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so uh, MM, 
kind of classic. Hmm. It ended up looking really good. Yes, it did. I like how it turned out. Yeah, this was um, the backdrop for our reception. No, this is the backdrop for our ceremony. Um, and then that was the broom that we jumped over. So we stood right in front of this with our... Why are you laughing about the broom? No, you said jumped. Oh, sorry. The broom that we jumped over. Um, so we stood right in front of this with our pastor who... Well, is he a pastor? With the person who ordained our... Show the picture of the broom. Also, for our... Um... Rehearsal dinner, we went to Griffith's uh, restaurant. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Their thing there. You know they closed? Yeah, they, they closed. Uh, Makaya lost her ring there. She dropped it on the floor. Uh, someone ended up finding it, but that was a whole thing. Like <laughs> the night before, she could have lost her. Uh, yeah, my engagement, engagement ring. ring. So. Yeah. Well, I found it's, it, so it's all that matters. All right, we'll be back with the rest of these videos. Now we're back. Uh, these are our uh, getting ready uh, photos before the reception actually happened. Mm -hmm. So this was yeah outside of the ceremony room. Um, our video is kind of blocking who this is, but uh, this is my sister actually giving me. Um, well, I didn't really know what it was. Uh, it's like a, a gift from Makaya. Um, so it came with a letter uh, or like a little note postcard thing and then so I read that and it was basically like um, I don't know I love you think about you uh, here's a surprise thing inside was a, a watch um, one of the watches that my dad uh, had had because he had a lot of various watches and so um, she had uh, got in on the back engraved um, his name right no it said I will always be with you. And then the was there a dad? Love dad. Love dad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and that's because yeah, my uh, dad had passed away uh, December seventeenth, and we had got married. On, this is the thirty first, so he wasn't able to attend. So it was a, a nice uh, gesture that Makai did. Um, and there's like a whole story with the uh, watch and how the hands um, were. Not working for a while, and then they oh, started yeah. working, right? So, backtrack a little bit. I actually stole the watch. <laughs> no one from his family knew I had taken it. So, while we were over his house, like, preparing everything, I had went in, because I knew where his dad had stored his watches, mainly because I gave him a watch, his dad a watch case for one Christmas. Um, so, I knew where he stored them. So, I had went and got... Went and got it engraved, tried to get it, uh, get a band on it, because originally didn't have a band on it, so we got a nice black band on it. Um, and yeah, it wasn't working, then all of a sudden, the day of, it started, the watch started working, and they told me every store I went to, because I went to two stores, that they have would have to send it off to get it fixed, and I was like, well, it's just a keepsake, so we won't worry about getting it fixed, but on the day yeah. of the wedding, it started working. Yeah, it, it worked on the, the day of, and then afterwards, like, maybe after that night, or after we got back, then that stopped working again. Like, I don't know if that means anything. But the, the watch that I was actually wearing that day was uh, a watch that my dad had gave me um, there. So that, you know, the black watch yeah, is on your the, black, right the black watch on the screen there, uh, my dad had gave me. And then also a picture of him on my new Fitbit watch. So, the watch is our key. But yeah, Janae had given that to me. She had... Uh, Sent her down. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, these are some of the shots of um, just kind of trying on some of the clothes. Not trying them on, but. <laughs> we were at the wedding. You were not trying them on anymore. Just kind of just getting shots <laughs> with different clothes on, you know, without the jacket, you know, with me fixing my bow tie um, in front of kind of this drapery area outside. Yeah, the venue was really pretty. It was, like, perfect for New Year's Eve, and we were on the second floor and had, like, three different um, spaces we could switch in between. Yeah. Okay. Well, there's me with the watches. Oh, the boutonniere that he has on my mom had made. Um, she made a few... 
for all of the groomsmen and then the um, my dad as well. Yeah, we had um, this, the tux is from uh, Tuxedo Avenue. And um, those shoes I got actually off Amazon. Um, everyone kept talking about them. Uh, they're pretty nice. They're like velvetish type shoes. That, People thought they were Gucci. <laughs> yeah. They, they look nice. Uh, they did look nice. But yeah. They do hot stuff. Didn't you, didn't you go to Tuxedo Avenue with this? Yeah, we picked it. Originally, me and okay, you picked we it out. Picked, okay, that wasn't mm -hmm. like a surprise thing. No, I knew what you were wearing. Okay, basically, yeah. We literally picked it out together. Yeah, we took the vest off one suit and put it with the suit from the other end. So this is Amy. This is one of my bridesmaids. And she's upstairs. That's Adria and the Madison's in the background. And then my sister, of course, and my mother. My mother had been running around all day trying to set up um, downstairs. So we're upstairs right now in the loft getting ready. But she had been running around all day. Here is a picture of me and her. Oh, she's zipping it up. I always say zipping. Zipping is not even a word, is it? Zipping. She's zipping up my dress. Just a mother-daughter moment. I love those earrings, too. I had two different pairs. Those earrings were too cute. My makeup was cute, too. Yeah, this is a better picture of me with the dress on. That was the reception dress. Yes, this was the first dress I had on. The only thing about this dress is I had to get it altered because when I got it, it was way too big and way too tall. Um, so I had gotten it hemmed and then I got it taken in and the boobs were still too, or the cups that was in the dress were still too big. So there's like pictures I feel like you can see my bra, but oh well. Yeah, just me and all of my bridesmaids. I had six of them in total and it was so hard to pick bridesmaids you guys it's one of the most difficult things I had to do with select because I had so many friends that I wanted to include um, but I ended up just picking the people that um, I had known the longest like pretty much everyone in this photo um, was like old family friends or I had known them for years um, the only person that's kind of newer is Amy but I literally would see Amy like every single day because um, we worked together when I used to work at UofL. So I picked people that were like, I pretty much saw them on a regular, regular basis. But it was really hard. There was a lot of people I really wanted to include. Yeah, just some other pictures. I took a lot of pictures this day. We had to do the fake, the fake smile. You remember the fake yeah, laugh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they always told me I was like super good at it. <laughs> yeah, this is just me holding the bouquet and taking some pictures individually. Yeah, it's another good picture of the dress. I love that dress. That was like one of my, I mean, my second dress I was in love with, but it, I was in love with this dress too. Like both my dresses, I did a wonderful job picking. My suit, my suit did its job. I mean, would I go back to Succeed Avenue for a suit? Uh, I guess they. I mean, did it fit right? Like, do you feel like yeah, it fit it, right? it fit right. Like, I did, like I was comfortable sitting down and dancing in it or whatever. Um, got a pretty pretty decent deal on it. Uh, yeah, it was fine with me. Yeah, this is one of my favorite pictures of me holding the bouquet with this dress on. I feel like you get to see everything, like my makeup, my hair, the bouquet, the full length of the dress. Yeah, and then these next few are just like mirror shots, like me taking a picture in the mirror. Yeah, get those earrings. Those earrings were too cute. I gotta find a formal thing to wear right again. Alright, so we'll be back with some more photos. I think we're gonna move to, what is it, ceremony next or reception next? Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Hey, we're back. Um, this is our um, reception, right? No. This is our first look back. No, the category of the photos. No, it's bridal party. Oh, bridal party. This is the, our first look reception. Our first look. It's just first look. 
<laughs> and um, yeah, so they sent me in here, and I said, uh, look off that way, and don't look back around till we say. Did so, you know why they were doing that? Yeah, because that's how the first look works. Oh, okay, so you didn't know we were doing the first look when they sent through the original. Yeah, they said, Michael, we're going to do the first look. Gotcha. And so that's what they had said. Um, so this is me waiting for Micaiah. I think I kind of heard her come in. Yeah, my little kicker cut. Yep. And then I saw her. This, <laughs> this is the first look. You can't see her face, though. Were you shocked about how I looked when you first saw me? This is your... You gotta guess the dresses the whole time, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is your wedding dress. Obviously, because that's what the first look for. I've already seen you no, in your reception dress. No, this is my dress. reception dress, babe. We did our first look with my reception, because we didn't get married till midnight. You can't tell that that's my reception dress? Well, I, I thought it was, but then I was like, why would, we, guess why would we do a first you, look? You're on the struggle bus right why now. Why would we do a first look with a reception? Because why would I change into my wedding dress? And Because other people would see my wedding dress, too. Right, but I was... My not, wedding dress was supposed to be a surprise. Not knowing that, I thought the first you thought this would was be my wedding dress, for yeah. the wedding dress. That's what you were supposed to think. I only had one dress. But I didn't. Bef and also because of the order that we're going in, I thought I already saw you in this before. Yeah, this was our where we actually did walk down the aisle. Um, this is the room. So it's nice to see it without people actually in. You got good at that. Um, what do they call it? The nozzle? Nuzzle. Nuzzle. Yeah. Nozzle. <laughs> I don't know what they call it. <laughs> it's strong. My nose kind of looks a little pressed in there. Yeah. Some of these photos your nose do look kind of pressed in. That's a cute picture. What's the picture that you have for your background? Is that? It's one of these. This lady? Uh, one of these? Yeah. Oh, by the way, my feet were killing me. This was when I decided I was not wearing those beautiful heels that you guys saw in some of the previous pictures. I did not wear that the rest of the evening, except for when we did our first, um, our dance, which we'll come back to. But outside of that, you couldn't see my shoes so I in any of my dresses. So I ended up wearing my um, burgundy chucks the rest of the night. I think it had something. It wasn't that I couldn't walk on the shoes. I think it had to do with that flooring because that flooring was such like a glassy, hard surface. My feet were like aching so bad. My shoes are kind of comfortable. I didn't, my feet started hurting at the very, very, very end, like, <clears throat> when we were cleaning up and stuff, that's when I was like. Probably because you had them on for so long. Well, yeah, I didn't change it. Those are the shoes I wore the entire time. Yeah. yeah. My chucks were fine. I was in there just But you also can't see your chucks. You can. Right, that's why I was like, I'm not wearing those heels. Did we bring, I don't even think I brought my chucks. These are the only photos I didn't really like the walking away, but I mean, all the photos were pretty, but the walking away um, ones I wasn't even sure about. Yeah, these are kind of eh. It's like, where are we walking in this one? Also, the background, I don't know if that. Yeah. That's, yeah. But it was cold. It wasn't like we can go anywhere else to take our photos, so. Yep. And if we left, people could see us, because we. We, since we had our wedding downtown, our wedding started at 8, but a lot of people like arrived super early. So when we were even taking our first look photos, there were a few like family members out in the hallway. Yeah, this was um, yeah New Year's Eve, but there was no snow. It was just... Yeah, that's the one good thing. Snow. We didn't have any snow. But, and it doesn't snow a lot. But that would take kind of... Yeah, with the snowy nice. background. With but it would be cold. I mean, my bridesmaids would have been complaining. They wouldn't have wanted to win out. Oh, I mean, I'm not sorry. with everyone. Maybe just us. Um, but I love the bridesmaids' dresses. They were so pretty. Um, I think they went with the theme of the wedding and everything. And they were definitely the color. So. And it looked the dress looked good on everyone. It wasn't one of those dresses where it's like, oh, well, it looks good on this side. So it was nice. Everybody looks so happy. To do our series photos in a few minutes. Was there any bridesmaid you were shocked that I picked? No. No, because they're all like long term family, family friends. Uh, what am I going to be shocked that you picked Larry? She's kind of your sister. <laughs> what if you were shocked I picked Larry? I actually really like a lot of the black and white photos. Yeah, but, eh, 
it's 2020. Like, we don't need black and white photos. But they look they look classic. Black and white looks classic. Yeah, but... I don't think it has anything to do with you. Alright, so this yeah. groomsmen to This is the first in. is this the first time they've seen the groomsmen? I think so, yeah. I don't think we've uh, had any other photos with groomsmen yet. Yeah, I think those are coming up maybe later or, or maybe more the videographer was kind of with us more than the photographer was because she was mainly with you guys for yeah. most of the whole time. Um so starting with like the back row left, uh that's Andrew, uh long term family friend, and we got uh Seth uh, J Squad member, J Town, uh, high school, went with all of them. Uh, then me, then uh, Isaiah, also J Squad with uh, Ben Rina. Then at the bottom right is Jaime, uh, like Andrew. Like our fam- our, our parents uh, knew each other like, before <laughs> we were so born. So. Like, what is everyone looking at? <laughs> She wanted flats? Um, I don't believe so. I think they were all wearing their heels. They all had the same size heel. Or not the same size, the same um, type of heel. Which you, was were you black. wearing heels? Is that why yeah, you I was wearing the heels at that moment, yeah. Okay. Um, and then this is Adrian, my best friend from kindergarten. And we've been friends since kindergarten. So. That is some pretty photos. Madison known her since birth. Well, since she was born. We're only like a year apart. Then this is Raven. I've known her since birth. She's older. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't say since birth. You're like born. I mean, you're like, oh, birth. she's right there. I mean, like, I mean, sometime, you know. Okay. And then this is Janae. This is Micah's sister, my sister in law. Yep, that's Janae version. Alright. Yep, this is the whole gang. Um, yeah, you were talking about before how you were like, it was hard for you to decide, like, who yeah. it would be. I mean, it wasn't as hard for me. Uh, you struggled to come up with, because so, I told you my six, and you were like, who's your six? And I was like, it makes sense who your six are. No, that's not how it worked. It was kind of, I had mine, and you had to match the number of people I had more so than no. you matched. No! That's how it was. Um, I don't remember that. Because it was going to be at least J-Squad, and then Andrew Jaime, um, if they could make it, or they could be a part of it. And, um, Why wouldn't they want to be a part of it, though? No, if they if they could, say they were like, they had something going on that they couldn't make it, or like, Jaime is in the police thing, maybe he couldn't get off. Remember? He was... Saying if he could or couldn't, um, but you know, clear choice for why we uh, I picked them. Uh, we're all pretty close. The other option could have been uh, some of my beta brothers, but uh, yeah, I ended up going with these guys. So. I think you made a good choice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you don't want your uh, wedding party to be so big. But. Some people have huge wedding parties. Like, I'm thinking the Guinness Book of... I've read somewhere, like, the Guinness Book of Record, like, someone had, like, 150, 200 bridesmaids or something like that. Something crazy. Like so, that. like, you might notice that I have a black shirt, and all of them have the white. Um, but that's something that me and Makai decided when we were picking out kind of our tux. have we something. To stand out. Yeah, something that had me kind of stand out. And so, I, I don't have the white coupling because it's a black shirt, and then... Um, the shoes are different than the ones that they had, but I did like the shoes that they had. Like I, they were like a two-toned uh, alligator type and smooth um, type shoe. It was nice. I would have worn it if I didn't end up finding those because I, I looked for those velvet shoes. It was probably like like three four days before the wedding. Like yeah. that that came in, so it wasn't like something I'd planned for in advance. Advance, so it just ended up working out. Uh, yeah, that's Seth. Uh, we each had to do, like, had us do some sort of, like, action. Did she and how you do it? No, we just stood still. Yeah, so we took a picture, and then we had, like, some sort of uh, thing that we also did. So you'll see. I try to make it different for each one. Uh, and we try to come up. It was kind of hard. There was, like, six of them, and we had to come up with this on the spot. 
Um, but yeah. That's funny. She yeah, she just had us play so she didn't tell me to do any like action stuff. But we just ended up like I think you know keeping me and having our arms around each other. That's Zach. I've actually known him since uh, kindergarten. Don't try to be like me and Adria. Did you know I did since kindergarten? Yeah, we became friends at the locker in kindergarten. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else, like J-Town, and then I, um, yeah, there's pictures of, Andrew and Jaime are older than me, so there's pictures of them where I'm older and I'm still, like, a baby. Uh, they're more, like, Janae's age, but. Okay, so I'm, I'm waiting for this photo. So my brides, or my maid of honor, and then his, uh, his. Uh, best men, because he had two best men. Oh, yeah, but yeah. his best men, Isaiah. I have no clue what's going on in this photo, but they're like looking at each other like crazy. Well, my sister's looking at him like he's crazy. And everybody else is staring at the camera, so I have no clue what's going on in this photo. I did forget that. I, yeah, I actually had co-best men. Yeah. Seven. Uh, yeah, that was, that, was, that was a harder decision uh, who to make the best man than actually who to be in the uh, brighting, uh, bridal power, uh, party. <laughs> bridal, bridal party. party. Uh, and then the order that they went in. So I just basically went in the order of uh, co-best man, then the length of the time that I knew him, and then sort of kind of filled in after that. Mine was easy, just because she's my sister. And I also gifted my bridesmaids. Um, one of their brides' gifts was the shawl that they had on. They had the black shawls, and you had the white shawl, but you mm -hmm. didn't wear or bring I didn't wear my white shawl, no. Kind of looks like a... Only I didn't wear a white shawl because Raven had made me this biker jacket. Oh, that's black. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that the photo we have the background picture? Of your what do you mean? On the no, no. No, it's my other dress. And it says Mrs. Quinlan on it. And then on the sleeve it says um, our wedding date. But in Roman numeral. Um, is it numbers or letters? Roman numerals? Numbers? Rome, it's just Roman, Roman numerals. numerals. Well, they're, they're not, I don't know. They're both letters and numbers. It's just like alphabet, basically. <laughs> so this was just some family photos for us. Um, my dad was actually sick during my wedding, which sucked. Um, but yeah, dad wasn't feeling well the day of my wedding. Um, I think he had eaten something bad the day before. Um, no, it was, the, it was the day of. He had went to. Uh, not the day. It wasn't the day of the wedding. But it was the day of before. Oh, he didn't yeah. eat anything the day of. He woke up not feeling well. Right when he went to go pick up um, your grandparents mm -hmm. from the airport. The hotel. Oh. Yeah, but these are just some daddy daughter photos. I'm such a daddy's girl. Love my mother too, but I'm a daddy's girl. So. And these are my sisters. Sister-in-law and sister. Oh, I don't got no brothers. Yeah, we don't have a lot of men in our family in general. It's my mom. It's the first picture of my mom, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my mom, Elizabeth. And then that's my mom and daddy here. Mom did such a good job on the wedding and everything. She really was ahead of like making sure everything was running smoothly the day of, and everything ran smoothly. Now that's my aunt Anna or Nana, as uh, we call her. The, yeah, the reason why we call her Nana uh, is because apparently when we were younger, we were not able to say the name Anna, so we just. Nana was easier, so we just call it my aunt Nana and my grandma and grandma. So. Makes sense. Um, and then it's just my sister added to this photo, so just a family photo. Your mom's cut off on all these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then I got thrown in. Yep, there you are. Yeah, uh, this is just the, the siblings. siblings. Yep, just me, the only, the lone guy. Yeah. No other. Well, when Janae and Leary find someone, you know. At their wedding, we're going to take a picture where, I guess. These are pre, 
And then this is a good picture of the jacket that Raven, um, my bridesmaid, had made for me. And again, you can see kind of on the sleeve the numer numeral. Um, oh, at the bottom. Numbers, yeah. But well, that's, that's the, where the zippers are. They kind mm -hmm. And then. That was uh, mentioned earlier, who was our ordained minister. Mm -hmm. uh, he also did some premarital counseling for us. That was yep. really. Went to a few sessions with him for premarital Really good. Counseling. Is that a picture of the whole family? Uh, yep, this is everyone. Yes. Okay, and we're back with the ceremony pictures this yep. time. So this is really where we get into like a lot more of the guest photos and things like that. So these are my friends from UK. Uh, there is Janelle, what's, Uriah. What's, what's UK mean? UK, oh, University of Kentucky. These are my friends from the University of Kentucky. So there is Janelle. Um, I met her sophomore year. Um, I already in the same building as she lived in, and we hit it off as soon as we met. Love you, girl. Um, and then there's Uriah and Contessa. We all met when we became RAs. I actually met Contessa um, freshman year right when we first, I think it was like the RA reception or something. Um, and then we became really good friends sophomore year on um and then i met i met uriah in blazer freshman year we first lived there but i became good friends with uriah through contessa um so yeah it was nice having them um at the wedding and then this is john madison's boyfriend and then these are the Neils. um my bridesmaids adria that's their her sister and her parents so i've known them for a really really long time the other guests that attend our wedding, so mixed sides. There wasn't a side for me and Micah. It's just anyone could sit on any side. So, yeah. So, I started off the ceremony, um, me walking in. And the music that I was playing was actually uh, a song that I really like. Her. Her. That was Daniel Caesar. Daniel uh, Caesar and her. Featuring her uh, best part. Baby walking down the aisle. So then I waited for everyone else to kind of file in, and my mom came after, after me. And then my mom. And the, uh, each person was walking at various speeds. <laughs> they uh, sure some were. people were walking normal, some <laughs> slow. So fast. We did not have a lot of time to practice this. They gave us an hour the day before, so we made a do what a do. And there's Amy and Ben. There's Zach and Madison. That is Raven. Raven. <laughs> That's Zach and Raven. <laughs> yep, Zach and Raven. Hi, me and Madison. Yes. Okay, sorry. Who was it? Andrew and Adria. Okay, I can name not, everyone. I, I can name everyone. No, you can't. I just, I was going too fast. Seth and Janae. Oh, <laughs> she's blinking. <laughs> yeah, they should have picked a different photo. <laughs> he is too kind of. His eyes are low. And then this is Leary and um, Isaiah. And there comes me. What did I walk to? Uh, oh, yes. We had um, Chancing sing. Um, Chancing who? Anyway, Chancing, she's a recording artist. And we had her sing um, Inseparable by, I think it's Natalie King Cole. Let's see who sings it. Na um, Nat King Cole? No, Natalie. Natalie's her daughter is a singer. Anyway, so we had Inseparable and it was beautiful. Us walking down the aisle. Yeah. What did you think when I was walking down the aisle? Um, you were, I mean, walking of everyone the slowest because we had to wait for, not wait, but she was singing. You didn't want to just rush to the end. You kind of wanted to take your time. So I was kind yeah, there's Chanson in the background singing. I was, um, Kind of just thinking, oh, there she is. This is the, the moment. Start singing again. 
and uh, yeah, kind of just enjoying the song. I I didn't know that she was going to be singing. Did I not tell you that? You did not tell me. Oh, there's also, a lot of secrets for you. She for also wedding. didn't tell me about some stuff we're going to be talking about in the other video. Um, but yeah. There's lots of This was the part where uh, it's, it was funny because I would, um, during a rehearsal, I was supposed to um, hug Makai's mom and then uh, ask permission of... of uh, like shake my dad's uh, hand. Her, her dad. Yeah. And then uh, get Micaiah. But on the day of, um, her dad had reached out to to, sh- to shake my hand first, <laughs> and I was kind of stuck. I didn't know what to do. I know I was supposed to go to her first, so I kind of did this move where I was like, uh, "Mo here." <laughs> <laughs> and my dad's hands are just kind of still out. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Sorry. Hands of my parents. And there's my mom sitting in the front. And bridesmaids. Do you see the lanterns? Groomsmen. See how my groomsmen are lined up and the shoulder to shoulder <laughs> and if we go back all the spacings all that had wrong. That nothing to do with me. That's how they decided they wanted to stay. Amy's way, way back there. Don't be shaming my groomsmen. Or my bridesmaids. Don't be shaming my bridesmaids. Uh, so yeah, we both had our own vows, um, and we were able to pull our phones. My dress had pockets, by the way, so I was able to keep my phone on it. Yeah, I, uh, our vows, Makai was re- reminding me constantly, mm-hmm. you didn't finish your vows, I finished your vows, and, uh, I think I finished, like, a day or two before. Yeah, I'm, I mean, not, not procrastinating, but, I don't know, crunch time gets the ideas flowing. And we, we actually had pretty similar vows. Yeah, our vows are really, really They're similar. They are pretty similar. And we had, had they, like, no spoke idea. to each other. It was, like, a call and response, almost. I had some laughs in mind, so you might be kind of chuckling a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I try to add some funny bits about uh, Atlanta housewives and oh, yeah. different things, but. This is the progression of the ceremony. I think at this time he's asking for rings. Yeah, we're putting our rings on. Rings. And our vows. Remember what our vows were to honor? <laughs> Do you remember them? What he told us to say? That he told us? No, yeah. I didn't memorize what he told us, to say, told us to say. Nor did I memorize the vows that I had. That's you did I have a prayer, down. though. That was nice. Yeah. That's the videographer back there. Yeah, <laughs> in the he's photo. all up in the back of the photo. Oh, then we're kissing. And then I said I do, and then we kiss. Or we both said we do. Yeah. And then we, we kissed. And the kind of funny thing that's kind of maybe in the video, but not in the pictures, obviously, is um, the the crowd was not wanting us to get married. Oh so yes, it was exactly. Oh my gosh. Midnight. They were like, they had their phones they on. They were and watching. There was like two more minutes, yeah. and then he was like, "Oh, my, my watch says it's midnight," but you know. Yeah, we really did try our hardest to kind of like plan everything, like the singing and the progression down the aisle and the prayer and our vows. Because uh, we started walking down the aisle at eleven forty-five, right? Or no, eleven forty. Started walking down the aisle at eleven forty, and we really did try to plan to make sure everything ended at midnight. But it just you know, you can never yeah know when time's gonna go. So, yes. but we were like maybe just a minute off, so we all just kind of were like counting down to the last minute. Then he said, "I now pronounce you husband and wife exactly at midnight," and we jumped the broom. That's us laughing because they're the crowd is literally counting down. Like, no, we're not getting married yet. That's us saying, "Yay, it's New Year's!" And that's the last photo. We're married. Yeah, and then after this, well, 
I was going to say after this is the reception, but actually the reception was before or, this. We had the reception before it, and then we had about an hour after where we did like a little after party, continued to dance. Yeah. Um, and then that's when we, so usually when you have a wedding, you have the reception after, and you do like the cake cutting, all the traditional stuff. Uh, garter toss, bouquet toss. We were still able to do all that stuff, but it happened after, like the hour after the wedding. Yeah, so we're going to switch over to that. and Clean up all of our reception stuff, which so, was the fun part. So the, the those photos, the reception photos are actually going to include the prior reception and the after reception? Yeah, just reception in general, yeah. Oh, okay. The reception and party. Oh, cool. You guys are in for it. All right, so this is our... Receptions. So this was actually the first thing that happened in our wedding was the bridal party walking in. And we were walking out to, um, sorry if you can't hear me. <laughs> we were walking out to bring him out. Oh, yeah. By, it's by T.I. Yeah, T.I. Bring him out, bring him out. So they were doing like cute little, um, their partner and then we're doing like cute little dances and song. And they, again, this was something we rehearsed literally the day before, so they did this all on their own. Oh, yeah, we were supposed to... Look at Adria do her model walk. Okay, girl. <laughs> we were supposed to have the music um, be different for ours or something like that, but it got looped in, remember, when we were walking? Oh, Yeah. We got looped in, so we were like going down to different music than we were supposed to, yeah. or something like that. I don't know. It was kind of it was miscommunication with the DJ. Yeah, so we ended up didn't we didn't know I was supposed to go down with my mom, right? Mhm. Mm and I was supposed to go come down with my dad, but he announced, and my mom was sitting down, but he announced uh, his mom, and then my mom and my dad. So my mom had to like come from the crowd to stand. Yeah, them. so we didn't practice anything because yeah. we didn't know we were supposed to walk down, and then we ended up trying to do the. Um, the, the kid and play. Oh, uh, yeah. It did, we, that should have been practice. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wanted to do something, but it didn't really. And we tried to do our handshake. Again, that should have been practice because we hadn't done we it. We hadn't done so it in long. a minute. So, it wasn't. It did not come out right. You think we could do it now? No. Is it? Hold on. Yeah, that's a, I mean, uh, and then does this, and then I don't know the rest, yeah. but we'll I mean, to it's easier it. to do then, but like in the moment, you're like, you got the yeah, walk, it's so much pressure, people are watching, yeah, it's too much, you're in a dress, yeah, this is us trying to be the kid and play, it just did not, we ended up scrapping that, <laughs> and then he did his mother, uh, son dance, yep, and my mom did not want oh, to dance, oh yes, I completely forgot about that, <laughs> <laughs> That's her complainer right there. Like, I'm ready to she sit She didn't down. want to dance. And she, she danced for a little bit. Then she went and sat down. But it wasn't long enough. So I had to go and get her, and get her back to come. And that's when uh, the, the other picture was. Yeah. And she came back out and danced a little more. That's, that's uh, a, a lot of my family members, uh, cousins. Um, uh, and then this is fa father-daughter dance. That's my Uncle Larry in the background. <laughs> <laughs> You can see the me sitting down there, and then back there is also the the bar, mm -hmm. which uh, Kingsley had a uh, catering. catering yeah, for us. our food was hey, go back, so go back. good. Um, that was when uh, I'm dancing, and uh, then kind of steal her away from him. So that's kind of that moment right there. And then we started dancing. I'm done. There ain't no music. I could put some music in the music video here. What were we dancing to? Uh, we were dancing to the song we weren't supposed to be dancing to. Yeah. It was the same song that we did the Farther and Darter dance off of. Oh. Um, it was uh, Stevie oh, Wonder. Oh, Isn't She Lovely. Isn't she lovely? Which is fine. That's fine. What were we supposed to dance to? Is I have no clue what we were supposed to be dancing to. Isn't she wonderful? Yes, I am. Okay, uh, yeah, this is just us dancing, us dancing. We danced for a long time. Yeah, we time. really did. My dad, um, 
had someone come up and do the prayer before we ate. So the, literally after we came in, the bridal party, uh, me, Micah, family, um, we ate. That yeah. was the first thing we did. That's, <laughs> we had food. That's our DJ, <laughs> uh, DJ John Q. Yeah, he did a really good job. So I guess we're into some reception photos here. Um, that's on. It's also Micah's side. Yeah, Micah's side. Also my side. Uh, uh, the, yeah. My grandma was there. She had a good time. My mom. This was uh, the Youngs, but also uh, that's Eddie's brother. I mean, Andrew's. That's Eddie's brother. That's, that's Eddie. That's Andrew's brother, Eddie, and uh, his girlfriend, and then Donna and her um, husband. Husband? Yeah. Yeah, but they're married. That, I'm so I'm telling Eddie. So that's Eddie's brother. I mean, at least I didn't say that's. I don't know. And these are some of Micah's friends um, from U of L, and then um, um, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, this in the um, lower left corner. Yeah. Um, we know him through Janae. Nesby and engineering friends. And these are some of Micah's fraternity yeah. brothers at the from, top. From uh, Beta Theta Pi. And their significant yeah. others. Yep. And I didn't even know we had these. Yeah, we've, oh, you haven't seen, yeah, so sidebar, <laughs> I've seen, I've went through all of the photos, um, but Micah, this is really like one of his first time reviewing most of the photos, so this is his first hand reaction for him. Yeah, some of these I have not seen. Yep, and then these are my UK friends, University of Kentucky, whoop whoop, uh, Uriah and Contessa. Micah's groomsman and then my dad, I think they were trying to get you to dance or something at this point. I think so, probably. I was probably upstairs at this point. There was like multiple times throughout the reception that I was upstairs doing something, whether it's changing or who knows what. It's my dad. He's giving his speech. Oh, yeah. They were... Yeah. <laughs> this is uh, uh, one of my cousins. Yeah, they. everyone was... The DJ was asking people to come and give... To talk or say anything, words of encouragement or whatever. Mm -hmm. And these it, are all the speeches. The it kind of went on for a oh, long time. Oh yes, way too long. No was, oh, this one was funny though. Yeah. Uh, what does that say? Do you remember what he said? Yeah, he um he had the part of his speech was a, the joke is like, uh, Micaiah, put your hand on the mm -hmm. the table, and then Micah, put your hand on the top. Um, this, this is the, the last time. time. This is the only time you're gonna have the upper hand yeah, over Micaiah. Yeah, it was so good. It was, it was good. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's saying it at that point because people are laughing. Or at least my dad's laughing. Yep, we were just uh, listening to all the, the nice things that yep, we had to say. Yep, that's us doing it with the yep, hands. That's the, the moment. Mm -hmm. And laughing after. Just cackalacking over there. Cackalacking? You never heard of cackalacking? Sounds like, sounds like Cadillacking. <laughs> cackalacking. These are my parents giving their speech. Mom going on about how she raised me and stuff. Something like that. Along those lines. <laughs> this was uh, Isaiah's uh, part of the speech, which is also good. He didn't. Yeah, he, was good. I was surprised that he didn't have this written down. He just kind of memorized Went, yeah. it. Uh, it was it was good. And then there's the one part where he had said that uh, uh, he was a. <laughs> oh yeah. He, was a, he said he was, he was a like a young eligible, eligible bachelor. bachelor. He had like. He was <laughs> <laughs> like myself or something <laughs> like that and people were laughing yes these are two of my line sisters lexi and mia giving their speech and yeah, this is some nesby. My, uh, yeah some of my nesby friends uh, national, national society, society of black, black engineers. engineers and i actually the um jaylen in the middle i know her um since i was young too from church and Willis there on the left, he also went to, to J-Town, so he knew all of my, uh, of course, he was part of our friend, friend group in, at J-Town, so. These are my classes. bridesmaids about to give a speech. They like they're in the choir and they're about to sing a tune, so. I sit our head table. Bridesmaids ask me if I need anything. This is my cousin. Sharp in that jacket. Yeah, it's a nice jacket. And these are his parents, um, my uncle. 
your mom was, uh, you know, almost had, we almost had a short church Oh, yeah, it's between uh, your aunt and your grandma. My, my, uh, my aunt, my grandma, yeah. my mom, uh, they talk about, you know, give your life to, to God. Which is not a bad thing. It's not, it's not, but uh, this is my cousin Robert. Yeah, we had a, when we sang, we had a lot of unplanned speeches. We had a, yeah, lot, of a lot of unplanned speeches. speeches. Uh, his, uh, my cousin Robert's wife is actually a member of. Oh, yeah, my uh, sorority. Makaya's, yeah, we're um, in the same sorority. sorority, and my mom and her play Bonka, so small, small world, world yeah. Uh, this is Zach again, Zach uh, from the Beta, he was, you know, representing them and saying words on their behalf. Yeah, this is where church came in. Yep. <laughs> Time to go to church with my grandma. And then the toast, right? Yep. There are 300 photos in this. There are a lot of photos. There are a lot of photos in this section. And this, yes, this is where we get to the dancing the dancing, the grooving. grooving. Mm -hmm. this, all this stuff was before the wedding. Yeah, it was. We had a, we had a ball before the wedding. That's kind of good because they... You get to eat. You get to like enjoy. Get comfortable. Like I would say this would be great for people who maybe don't know anyone at a wedding because you get more relaxed you get to like dance and stuff and then like maybe you meet somewhere there then you sit with them at the ceremony yeah because i could see like if you um if you're going somewhere you really don't know anyone there mm -hmm. and you basically just came for the wedding where you would come go to the ceremony and pretty much dip right after and not even really stay for the reception. Yeah, but this may But this kind of forces you to stay for the reception because, I mean, it's beforehand and you're not going to come wait to the... So we got our money's worth in cake and food. Yeah, yeah. Ever, yeah. These are all my line sisters in this photo. I think they're... It looks like they're doing some type of slide. This was the wobble, I think, maybe. the wobble. Probably, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. I was upstairs this time, so I'm not in any of these photos. I was changing because we had something coming up. I might go over there getting it. Go, babe. Go, babe. Yeah. Well, there was, like, several, like, dance circles that had formed during uh -huh. various parts of the receptions. Uh, and... And the wedding video, they captured one of them where I, I got in the center. I was dancing uh, somewhat on beat. <laughs> you don't dance on beat. No, I, but it was kind of weird because um, how the video is clipped with the song of the that's dubbed over top of it. It kind of matches separately. So trust me, I was on beat at the time, but on the video, that's where it kind of. And just more photos of us. Everybody dancing. Enjoying their time. Yeah, everybody was like pretty much mixed. It wasn't like really like people individually. Like you would see somebody next to you that you didn't know. Y'all still be like dancing and doing stuff. Yeah, I mean there was, I mean not everyone was dancing. There was still people. Oh yeah, there were people, people sitting, sitting the down, yeah. at the tables. Like probably a lot of my aunts weren't really dancing. People were probably still eating too yeah. and getting drinks because our bar was yeah. open pretty much the whole night. So. Yeah, one thing that I did take busy. a while was the food and the or the lines and oh, how they yes. were all on the tables. Yes, some tables. We should, if if we yeah. ever do an event like that again. Um, or I'm helping someone else with their wedding. You need to structure how if you're doing buffet and you don't want everyone to get up at the same time like we didn't, you have to um, yeah. know what tables you're calling and when, and it has to be kind of back to back or a lot quicker. Because it wasn't like the line; the lines weren't moving slow with the food. It was just we didn't have a structure of what tables we were calling and when, so it was just moving like really slow. But yeah, they did a slow train line. was popping. I was popping not a, something people say anymore. Was popping? Do people say popping? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we, we were getting it with the music. That new, that new uh, song by Jack Carlo. What's uh, popping? What's popping? 
Um, dun, 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 at dun, this dun. time, had like maybe one million views, but yeah, I don't think I knew that song at this time. Now. Did um, you know that song at this time? It had came out during this. It came out this year. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah, this is yeah, some this is pictures my of, <laughs> of some of the. Uh, I missed all of this. I was still upstairs. I don't know how long <laughs> this was, but I was upstairs. Some of the video that was ended up in the the Vimeo video, but yeah, you missed you missed a lot of good stuff. I actually forget that. Did you even realize I was gone? <laughs> yeah, I obviously knew you weren't oh, there. Okay. <laughs> this was after we had ate, right? Yeah, this is after I mean. Yeah, so... We had danced a little bit before, too. We had danced, and then you ate, and then you, like, we ate and you left. And then it was... Then it kind of... Everything more or less blurred together, and then we kind of... I don't know. It was it was fun. That's why the the time passed pretty quickly. But now mm -hmm. that we're going through the pictures, I kind of see like yeah, the wedding passed real quick. Yeah, like every like you know how some people's weddings you're sitting around a lot doing that. You did not sit around in our wedding. You were there. You were getting your drinks. You were eating. You were watching us walk down the aisle. You were dancing. There was not a lot of downtown in our wedding. Right in the photos, taking her own photos. <laughs> oh, little <lucky> she's tired. <laughs> Those bow things. Oh, yeah, so I had asked, um, the people you see wearing bows are my line sisters, because I had asked them to be ushers at my wedding, so a lot of them were just helping out the day of with different things, so helping people find their seats, um, guiding people down um, the aisleway, make sure they don't walk down the aisleway when we were having our ceremony, um, sitting by the guest book table, just different things, and... My soror, um, Daphne, who you see right there with the curly hair far left, um, she was actually my day of coordinator. So I tried to keep my all my line sisters involved. They getting it. Oh, okay. So yeah, this is the reason, I know we've mentioned that I was upstairs multiple times throughout this video. So this was the reason during the reception I was upstairs. And Micah is shocked. <laughs> yeah, so uh, one of the things that kind of we were talking about before the wedding even happened is my aunt was thinking about the idea of um, kind of my groomsmen performing um, this uh, like wedding dance that she had saw on, on Facebook. And we never really had the time to work out and get that together. And so, but apparently Makai and her bridesmaids did. And I didn't know at all that they were going to dance or that they had learned to dance. And so they came out and performed. I didn't, I didn't have no idea why I was going to be sitting in this chair. But, um, yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was very, us learning this dance was literally last, I think it was maybe max two weeks before the wedding. I had decided that we were going to learn the dance. The um, chancing, the person who sung our wedding song, I had met her, um, and she had this song called Whole Wife, and that's the shirts that we're wearing that says Whole Wife. Um, and we had decided that she wanted to do some promotion for her new song, and we had learned the dance, and it was like kind of like a music video slash like competition for other brides to learn the dance and do it as well. So in exchange for that, she came and sung at the wedding. Um, so it was, it was really good. We learned the dance in a bridal shop. Um, and the video I think is on her Instagram and Facebook page, but in on my Facebook page as well. But literally we learned the dance in a day, did her video, and then we did the same dance for the wedding. So, and, and that's the lady that was singing at the, mm -hmm. in the ceremony. Yeah. Some of my beta friends got on the dance floor for a little bit there. Mm -hmm. And Let's talk about who knows what. <laughs> this was this after you came back down into into your dress. Yes, yes. So, so, so you you went up to change into your dancing clothes. Then you went back up to change back into this. 
Yes. Before you changed back up into your actual wedding dress? Actually, That's don't kind remember. of a lot. Unless you went straight in from the dance stuff into your wedding dress. No, you're right. I went straight from the dance stuff into my wedding dress. Yeah, I was going to say, why would you put that back on? So this is before, uh, yeah, because I did the dance like right before we were expected to be back upstairs. Yeah, so this is like kind of before um, all of this stuff. But again, these are photos from our reception and like the after party. But yeah, this is me and Michael. We got a few dances in. Yep, this is some more uh, photos of us dancing. My parents getting it in. I can say getting it in. What does that even mean? <laughs> like my neck's about to break off. Yo, I'm just noticing Willis was fine in the camera. Oh yeah, he's he's in the background of everything. Yeah, but not not all. Uh, I've seen him a couple of times looking at like you know at directly the, at, the, at the, the camera. camera. <laughs> I was That's like, funny. what? That's weird. I thought Jalen had a date to the wedding. No, I, I invited the Nesby friends. Well, they could have brought someone. I thought she told us she had a plus one if we came. Mm, no, no, so none of them, I, uh, they didn't ask for one, but I didn't say, you know, you bring it, yeah. one. I didn't, yeah, but uh, Narain ended up bringing one. I didn't know if it could end up being So fun. my parents. Kind of threw up off the seating chart because he ended up being That's, at a different yeah. table because his date, the table that I originally planned for him, didn't have the extra chair that I would have needed to put there if I knew. These are some other people that I've known for a while. Um, went to high school with. They were in Larry's grave, but went to high school with, and they went to UK as well. But yeah, that's the other thing. Um, We'll talk about it in our other video about like planning our wedding and everything, but seating charts are important. <laughs> so when you, so you they ask you to RSVP to a wedding, actually respond with your plus one. It looks like they might be doing the monkey feet. I don't remember. I'm not sure that I can't tell. Okay, so this is me and Micah cutting our cake, but of course, when we're cutting it, um, Micah has to make a big oops. Also, our cake, um, that cake specifically, was not all the way done, um, so when we cut into it, it kind of crumbled weird. Yeah, but we ended up getting, ended up reaching out to them and getting another cake um, the next day. And that's the cake that we have to um, cut into after we get to our one year. Look at my face. Yeah, so that's his face. This is where I mean that Micah made a big oops. We're cutting the cake and then Micah slings his hand over a little bit and knocks over the champagne in the glass. So yeah, this is us eating each other cake. It looks like Micah's whole hand is in my mouth. It's not. But it looks like Micah's whole fist does fit in my mouth. Micah put cake on me. You put cake on me too? I did. Okay, so this is me throwing my bouquet. Everyone is ready. There it goes. I threw it higher than I thought I would. Yeah, they are running after it. My sister, live action photo, jumping in the air to successfully get the bouquet. Did she fall? No, people were just pushing, like trying uh, to get it from her. Yeah, she won it fair and square. That means she's not to get married? I think that's what it means, yeah, when you catch the bouquet. And this is Micah. Wow, some of these are mixed through. But yeah, this is uh, for, yeah, me getting the, the garter. Oh, those are my chucks that I wore the whole night because my feet were hurting from those heels. <laughs> uh, 
And yeah, that was not difficult. <laughs> and he, he's about to throw it. There he goes. No one's really moving too much. Yeah, I didn't throw it very high. I, yeah, I, I misjudged the, the height of the ceiling and everything. Pretty much threw it. Like, and Jaime got it. Me. Is he engaged already? Uh, I know he wants to. Yeah, I think he's going to be getting engaged uh, to Summer, his girlfriend, pretty soon. Pretty yeah. soon. He was the right person to win. And then this is our um, AKA song that we sing at special events, specifically weddings um, and when new members are um, brought into the organization. So the sorority. So they sung it to me and I got to sit in the circle and look at everyone. There was a lot of sore wars at my wedding. A lot of AKs. And some had even, at this point, some had left, so there was a lot of them. So this is at the very end this of the night. This is after midnight. Mm -hmm. This is, yeah, so, yeah, so we already made that transition. Mm. Oh, and I don't know if you realize, but we asked all of our guests to wear um, all black. So it was, um, Formal all black attire because we thought that would just look so beautiful um, with all of the colors that we had for our wedding, especially in New Year's Eve wedding. So we asked yeah, our guests to wear it, all it black. It did. I mean, it's it's better. It looks than, good in all of our photos too. Yeah, because otherwise you're gonna see people like green and red and mm -hmm. blue and which isn't bad, but this just looks more uniform and it it's like you know where to focus. Because, well, not it that was, you're... It was my suggestion. Yeah, not that you're, like, focusing on, like, just the bridal power party and people like that, but, I mean... It does help you to focus on it. It does, like, for at least the pictures. Mm -hmm. And it look, black looks good on everyone. Black slimming. Everyone can find black, so it was a nice choice. The only people that didn't wear black were, of course, the bridesmaids. So, our bridal party. And then um, the Parents. mother and uh, mother's. Else was asked to wear black, but they can wear any color like accessories or anything. These are my line sisters getting in and doing their stroll. I said getting it in like 15 times in this video. Mom and some of her line sisters. Some sorors. And this is our toast. Yes, this is our toast. Do you remember what we said during our toast? I don't know, but we thank people for coming. Yeah, we definitely thanked everyone for coming. Um, you said some special things about um, your mother and then mentioned that your father wasn't there, but he's a huge part of both of our lives and this wedding in general. And yep. will continue to be a huge part of our lives. Toast. Toast. Okay. Toast. I don't have any. I don't have anything. Toast. Yep, and these are me and majority of my line sisters. Me and Mike at the end of the night. Enjoying the time. And that's it. That's it. It's all of our photos. Well, right, thanks, thanks for spending time with us. Thanks for letting us go through our photo album. Again, we really just wanted to take this time to share it um, with our family and friends. These are literally all of our photos. So we went over at least 300 of them. Um, we know the video was long. Um, but stay tuned for our next video because we're going to be talking a lot about prepping um, and why we did what we did in our wedding and how we planned for our wedding. Um, but also one thing we did want to tell you guys, and it's the initial wedding date on our marriage license is not New Year's Eve. Uh, baby, do you want to say what our actual wedding date is? Oh uh, Yeah, our, our actual uh, I guess wedding set, I don't know what you would call it, uh, elopement date. That's September 7th, uh, 2019. Yeah. Uh, not too long after my birthday, uh, we decided to actually elope. get, yeah, elope. Um, and we'll talk more in our next video about that and again planning for our actual wedding and things like that. But yes, yeah, September 7th is our actual official wedding date. So, yeah. it's new information for a lot of people. Uh, Thanks for joining well, bye. Us. Um, had a good time yeah. with this first uh, video that I've done with Makaya. So. It's been fun. We'll keep doing it.
Yeah. Bye. Bye.